is now time for story time with Red Jacker. Aaron Bowen. Tonight's story is going to be a famous parable in the Bible that comes out of Matthew 25. Yeah, Matthew 25, called the Parable of the Talents. Now, back in the Bible days, a talent was a measure of money. It was a good, a good bit, a bit of money back in the Bible days. So, in the story, the master came. He had uh, three servants. He came on the scene. This will be our master. He came on the scene. All right, pick out three servants. Who will be? Let's use the um, Cooper guys because they all match. The Cooper guys. We're doing Mario in the parables. Okay, here we go. All right, all right get the money out. You ready? Come on. No. The first one came by. Come on, first guy. Who's the first servant? Him. I we can't see him. Shy guy came. He said, okay, here's what I'm going to do here. No, we need three people. Just give me one at a time. The first one first. Bring him up here to the screen. All right, first servant, I'm going to give you five talents. One, two, three, four, five. He gave him five talents, okay? And the shy guy took the five talents and went out there and invested it, and he brought back five more. So when he came back to the master, he said, Master, bring him back. He said, Master, bring him back. Where's that guy? Bring him back here. Over here. Bring him back. Hey, uh, servant, come back here. Bring him to me. Guess what, master? I got ten talents. Ah, he got ten talents. So the master was pleased because he had five talents, invested the five, and got five more. Then he called for a second servant. Give me a new servant. A new servant, please. Oh, oh not him. Waluigi. Waluigi. Oh, come on. Waluigi. Come here, can't see him. Waluigi. He said, Walu let me say, servant number two. Waluigi. Wah. I'm going to give you two talents. Yeah, One, no. two. Oh, why? Yes, you get two. Why? Uh, see, he's jealous. The other guy got five, but he only got two. We'll, we'll explain that in a minute, okay? Give me two. You only get two. He has two. So he took two, went off, and invested it. And when he came back, guess what he had, Aaron? He said, Master. He can't bring him back. Waluigi, come back, servant. Bring him back. He says, I got one, two, three. He's got four. So he brought back four talents. Okay, and the master was pleased. Then he called a third servant. Give me a third servant. Where's my third servant at? Third servant. Come on, Aaron. The clock's ticking. Give me a third servant. You got plenty of people to choose from. Third servant. Come here. Come here. Hurry. Get somebody. I need a third servant. Come on. I'm going to pick it up. Come on. All right, here we go. Oh, and he said, okay, third servant, I'm going to give you just one little talent, one little talent. Just one? I don't know why. We'll explain it in a minute. He took the one and said, I'm scared. I'm going to lose this one. I only got one. I don't want to lose the other one I got. I can't afford to invest it. It may not make any money. So guess what? He went and hid it. We're going to that. He went and hid it. And when the master called him back, servant, where is my uh, increase? Where's my talent? Uh, master... I knew you were a shrewd businessman, and I only had one talent. I was afraid I'd lose it, so I hid it in a hole. The master said, take from that slothful, lazy servant and give it to the ones who were good. Waluigi and the shy guy. Now, the other guys were blessed because they took what they were given and invested it. Now, get this. Here you go. I got the money. No, you guys, he hid it. You're messing the parable up, Aaron. He he didn't bring it back. Anyhow, okay, in the parable, here's the story. The guy that had five invested it and got five more. The guy that had two invested it and had two more. And guess what? Both times the master said the same thing. He said, well done, my good and faithful servant. It didn't matter that one guy had five and one guy had two because both guys invested what they have. Here's what God is saying, Aaron. It does not matter how many gifts you have, how many talents you have in the body of Christ. If you use what God gives you for his glory, God rewards faithfulness. It doesn't matter if one guy can do five things, this guy can do two things. Things. If both are faithful in the house of God, God gave them both the same phrase. Well done, my good and faithful servant. One day, Aaron, we're all going to die and go to heaven if we're saved. And those who use their gifts for God, like I'm a preacher, some might teach, some might sing, some might do a lot in the church, and some might only have a few gifts. But either way, if they're faithful, the master's going to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. But those that hid their talent in a hole, Daddy. did not use Daddy. their gift for God, what? He's trying to slow walk me. Anyhow, let me finish the story. Those who don't use what God gives them, those who hide their spiritual gift or talent in the hole, the master will not be happy. So, what do we learn? Use what you have for the glory of God and invest your spiritual gift and build the kingdom of God and the master will be happy. And one day he'll say, well done, my good and faithful servant. But until you hear those words, we'll work till Jesus comes. Remember, God loves you. God loves you. Bye -bye. I love you.
you. You. Bye-bye.